Hey, this is Jared Chamberlain with The Chamberlain Group. I want to thank you for checking out our video blog. Today, we're continuing our series on myths. And what we're talking about today is three things that you need to be aware of when building a new home. So stay tuned. So building a home can be very exciting. And there's actually two ways that you can kind of build a home in the city. One is you kind of go inner city and essentially, kind of like where I am here, you buy an old lot and you build a new home on it. The second way is you actually go kind of a little outskirts, do a new lot in a new community and build a new home there. And today I'm gonna to walk through three myths that are evolved in the home buying process with a builder in the new home in the new community. So the first thing that you wanna be aware of is market value. When a builder prices their property, they are taking into consideration market value a little bit. Most of the time they're looking at what their costs, what their returns are, and that kind of thing. So what you need to double check and make sure that when you solidify a price with a builder is that it is true market value. So I have two examples here from our history and our experience. One is we had a client who bought in a new home uh, up in the northwest, part of Calgary. This home, he actually paid close to $720,000 for it. He really overpaid, he overbuilt. He built the biggest house on the lot, 27, 2800 square feet. The problem was, is that all the other homes weren't that size. So he really overpaid. He paid price per square foot, but it was overpaying for what it was. So the hard part with that is when he went to resale, he nearly lost $100,000 in actual value of what he sold because the market wasn't there to take it. The second one is recently, we actually had a buyer who we helped buy a resale home. This seller bought this home down south in Calgary, one of the newer communities, bought this home for roughly four, $4.99 12 months prior. So only a year ago, and this was last fall, so it wasn't that long ago. So a year before, he, he paid nearly $500,000 for this house from the builder directly. It was now worth four thirty-five. dollars he simply overpaid. So the key here with this myth is making sure that your value is understandable and is tied to the market because when it comes time to sell, you don't wanna be in this position. The second thing is you really wanna be aware of show home emotions. And what I mean by show home emotions is you can easily fall in love with the best of the best when you're sitting in the show home. That might not be what your home is because you're not gonna put all those upgrades in. So you just gotta be careful and don't fall in love with the idea of falling in love with a new home. Really do your homework and make sure it's the right thing. The third thing is how do you know if your builder is a good builder? Is this the right choice? Is it the right builder to build for you? So there's a couple things that come into this. The first one is the individual trades uh, that, you are, that are working on your property. So you could end up having a builder um, that has a phenomenal framing crew, but then has a horrible electrical crew, and they mess things up. So the thing with that is you really wanna be able to make sure that you're doing home visits while the home is being built. You wanna ask a lot of questions. And third thing is try to negotiate a home inspection into the new build. This doesn't happen very often, but it's a must. When we work with buyers that we are helping in a new build, we will have a home inspection involved. This truly helps eliminate and expose, I think is the right word there, any issues that could come up. Now, to fall back, you do have Alberta new home warranties or different types of warranties like that, and typically you have a builder warranty as well. So those are things that can cover some of the issues, not all of them, when they come up later. Not that they're gonna come up. <laughs> That's what I should say there. Not that they're gonna come up, but in case they come up, okay? So the last thing I wanna talk about is why bringing an agent to a new build is actually something that is really good for you to do, okay? So the first thing with that is we actually get paid from the builder. Do not believe the, the salesperson at the sales center when they say the prices are gonna go up when, a, when an agent is involved. When we're in a market like this, 
builders work with us. They want to work with us because we have buyers that are seriously looking and we're qualifying our buyers. So it's great to bring the agent you're working with to you, with you to the show homes and have them included in the process. It makes it so much easier because second thing, they're gonna have your best interest in mind, that, period. They know what you're looking for. They know how, how much you can spend. They, they've been involved. They may have shown you lots of other houses. So make sure that you bring them to that as well. The third thing is they're going to help you with the market value. That's that's simple as that. They're going to look at the market. What is the resale potential of this property in the future and that kind of thing. If you'd like to sit down and discuss buying a new home from a builder with us and what we've done to help potentially save a couple thousand dollars here and there, making sure the terms are right, those kind of things, we've done it all. Give us a call at 587-316-5400 and we'd be glad to help you out. So thank you for checking out our video blog today and sticking with me in this longer video. Truly appreciate it. You can reach us out to us in all of our different avenues on Facebook and Instagram. All the links are below. Have a wonderful day.